What up, everybody? It's Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. What does the name mean? I got no idea, but it sounds fantastic. So we're just going to keep on going with it. I have friend mail today, and there's only one piece right here because I can only do one piece at a time. I'm only one man, but I have more, and this is like a very interesting group of friend mail. This is going to be very exciting for me, and hopefully you get some enjoyment out of it as well. I also am uh, bringing out Katana. Hopefully Katana is, uh, you know, okay to do this. I'm um, going through rehab rehab right now with Katana. Um, we'll see We'll see what it's capable of. Um, not expecting a whole lot out of Katana. So I have uh, Husky as well, just in case. Husky Razor. So we'll see. So I'm a little worried about Katana because, like I said, it's still a little sticky from that last venture. Um, I tried to clean off most of it. It's hard to get off. <sighs> Poor Katana. Anyways, so this one comes from Germany. The address is on the back. I don't know if they want me to show their address, so I will not. It's got all kinds of craziness over here, which made me go, like, you know, immediately. I'm like, huh, there's a lot of stuff on this envelope. Come on, Katana, you can do this. Come on, one time for the fans. The fans need you, Katana. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Oh, Katana, you never cease to amaze. All right, good enough, Katana. You did almost all of it. That'll work. I'll do the rest with my fingers, Katana. All right, anyways. So let's see. From Germany now. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. All the way. This thing traveled far, didn't it? From Germany. Wow. All right. And I got tape all over me. Gracious. Okay. So, of course, here's my P.O. box. United States of America. Is that where I am? Oh, man, they got a fancy letterhead and everything. Uh, let me zoom. Can I zoom out? No, I'm, I'm max out of zoomage. Oh, man, how do you say that? Gold washing. Did I say that? Gold washing pay dirt. YouTube. Hello, my friend. I once collected these checks, and I have plenty of them. Now I have the idea to give some away. I hope you like them, and maybe I will see them again in one of your future mail calls. I just made my own channel stickers, and I will add. He wants me to show his, um, uh, you know, address, so I'm going to hold off on that. But uh, from Christian, okay. Let's see. He collects checks, huh? Let me see this thing. What kind of checks we got here? F. R. Jennings, grocery feed and coal. Well, that's a neat collection, isn't it? To collect checks, I would have never ever thought about that. You gotta tell me more about these things. Let me see what this thing says. Pay to the order of any bank, banker, or trust co. Wow. April 6, 1942? Is that really that old? Holy smokes. It doesn't look that old, right? I mean, that looks, that looks like almost like a newer check. 1942? What a neat thing to collect, man. Wow, Christian. Like I said, I mean, I've, I never would have thought to collect old checks. I mean, how unique is that? You know, I had that video um, about different things that we collect, and, you know, people gave me some really, really unique things that they collect that I just never would have thought was a collection. This right here is another one. This is this is wild to me. How neat. Groceries, feed, and coal. F.R. Jennings. So now I kind of want to look up F.R. Jennings and find out more about, you know, that company. Man, that's, that's really neat. And my wife is going to think these are cool. She's going to be like, can I spend those? No, you can't. They're already stamped out. You can't. Fantastic. So make sure you check out him on the YouTube. I'm, I'm probably going to say it wrong, man. Gold washing, gold washing and pay dirt on YouTube. His name is Christian. Let me see his uh, channel stickers. Finally get some channel stickers for the board. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's really cool. I love that old timey look to it. Wow. Paydirt.de has his own website. Man, how fancy, huh? Your own website? You show off. This guy, what's he, what's he doing over there? He's just, hey, I don't care where the camera is right now. I'm just going to do this. Fantastic. That's really cool, man. Thank you for the checks. Um, they're going to appear in a video. Hey, this one right here. Fantastic. That's cool. I'm definitely going to keep those. Um, I'm going to try to get say, maybe some like large uh, currency uh, little flips and put those in there because I feel like they need to be protected from uh, my little kid's fingers. Because they're crazy, those kids. All right, so Katana's still working for now. Um, what's the next one? What's the next one? Let's get this one right here. Now, this one shocks me because, um, of course, it has my address on there, but it has no other address. 
and somebody pay a lot of money for this postage on this priority mail. So really curious what's in here. Let me see, how am I gonna open this? I don't think Katana's gonna do this one. Well, maybe, hold on, Katana, are you, are you up to it, Katana? Oh yeah, I'm up to it. All right, fantastic, let's try it. Oh boy, Katana, are you sure? You're gonna totally snap in half. All right, Katana, good enough. You did, you did an okay job, Katana. Let's do the rest by fingers. I have no idea who this is from, not a clue. I don't know if it's from, uh, you know, uh, somewhere internationally. I don't know if it's from locally. I have no clue. What is that? It's a cool baggie, I'll tell you what. Let me see, is that, is that like a baggie? I mean, obviously it's a, a little baggie right there, but what is it in here? Look at this thing. It is a baggie. It's like, it's like the bag that Goldfinger would hold on to. Something in it. Hello, something's in me. All right, what's in here? What's in here, baggy? Holy smoke, somebody sent me... But who's it from? Hold on, let's open this up. That's amazing. I need more information. This is not enough information. Hold on, let me zoom in on this thing. Maybe it will tell us some stuff. I, I can't... What, hold on, is it upside down? 999 fine silver. What a cool little ingot, though, huh? With the skull and crossbones and the compass pointing north well it's actually pointing wherever you happen to but north is obviously wherever you know on the compass but you know, you know what i'm talking about <laughs> wow i like that the sides of it's cool who is this from is it is there something else in the bag please please be somebody so, tell me who this is no it's, it's not a mystery bag you can't you can't do that to us tell me who you are mystery bag person please be some kind of name in here Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me go back to the, where's the, where's the envelope or the priority thingy? There's no way you're going to give me something like cool as that and not tell me who you are. Please, please, please. Let me look. No, it's completely empty in here. How am I supposed to know who that is? Oh no. All right. So listen, I have no idea who this is, but Whoever it is, you got to tell me who you are. I, I mean, that's, I mean, it's, thank you so much, but I want to, I want to thank you, you know, personally. I just don't want to say some thank you random to the, to the air. I got to thank that person. This is cool. This, and are you doing this yourself? I mean, obviously it's a hand poured, but, but what's going on here? I want to give credit where credit is due. You know, this is a cool piece. I love this. Let's see how much, where's my, where's my scale? If I had to, if I had to guess, I would say approximately, probably, well here, let me get a, a one ouncer as comparison. So here's a one ouncer, and it feels like maybe a half an ounce. It feels, it definitely feels less. Maybe it's even less than half. I don't know, we're gonna find out. That's cool. That is cool. Who send this? Who send this cool thing to me? Um, let's, let's weigh it. Is that thing on? I can hardly tell. Yeah, it's on. Okay. Uh, it's set to Troy ounce, bada bang. Yeah, a little bit less than a half an ounce. That's that's really interesting. That is cool. Tell me who you are. Ah, it's gonna drive me crazy now. I'm gonna be up all night. That's cool. I feel like <clears throat> you gave me this cool little goldfinger bag to put, you know, or that it came in. I, it needs to go right back in there. And then you need to absolutely get with me ASAP, if not sooner, and tell me who you are. Cause that is cool. It doesn't say it on the bag or anything. Oh, yeah, please tell me who you are. Wow, mystery. Mystery. Okay, now. Ah, Jesus, gee whiz. That was a very unexpected. All right, now this next one. Let's try to, let's try to, hold on. Get our, get our thoughts together. Let's try to collect ourselves after that. Let's, let's go back to, okay, here we go. Friend mail. Hey, it's spectacular, super spectacular. Um, I got some more friend mail. Now, this one comes from, uh, Debbie from Albuquerque, New Mexico. You remember her? She's uh, one of my moderators on the live streams. Um, I definitely appreciate her. Um, she's she's always there to support me and um, tell me, hey, you know, you're doing a good job. Or, you know, if I'm doing a bad job, she tells me that, uh, you know, I'm an idiot and I'm not doing a good job. She lets me know. She's not afraid to tell me that I'm going in a, in a strange direction. So I do appreciate that. So let's see what she sent me. She told me she was going to send me something, and I'm like, oh, you don't have to do that. And she's like, I must. And I'm like, okay. And she said, whatever you do, she said, don't open it live on a uh, on a video. So, I, of course, I won't do that. But here it is. Um, anyways, 
So, oh, this is cool. It's like a map. Is this one of your local maps? Hold on. It smells like a map. I love the smell of a map. You know? Uh, well, that shows where she lives. So maybe I shouldn't... Um, <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't show that off. Maybe that's why she didn't want me to do it. But anyways, um, I don't want to show too much of this map because she actually marked that she lives here in case I ever want to go meet her, I suppose, and we can hang out and go to a coin show together. But this is really cool. I guess this is like a map of like her, you know, local area. And it looks like just a good time. There's all kinds of cool stuff here. How come we don't have maps like this in our neighborhood? This is like way cooler than just using one of those, you know, Google Maps and trying to get there with those. This is like a fancy, like, uh, I don't know, like a, like one of those park maps where you go to a park and you're like, yeah, I can't find my way around this gigantic park and I have a map like Busch Gardens or SeaWorld or whatnot. This is cool. I don't want to show too much again, because she has, um, identified where she is exactly. So that's cool. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. So now I know where, where you live in case I ever need to stalk you. Um, fantastic. Maybe one day I'll stalk you. And what else did you get? It's a, a plastic bag. What does this one say? Skip Maisel. Skip Maisel Indian Jewelry and Crafts. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> this is some cool stuff. Goodness gracious, I didn't expect all that. Here's a card from Skip Maisel. If anybody's ever in Albuquerque, Albuquerque, that's hard to say. Albuquerque. Say it three times fast. Albuquerque, Albuquerque, Albuquerque. All right, so I, I can say it no problem. I just couldn't say it that one time. Anyways, look at this thing. Whoa. It's like, it's just coming at you. Whoa. Oh man, I can just play with these things all day. What is this, a bookmark? Yeah, it's a bookmark, but Spectacular doesn't do a whole lot of reading. He just does a lot of like moving holographic bookmarks back and forth. Oh man, he's got like old like uh, rapiers, you know, through the skull. Yeah. Wow, look at it, it just follows you. Just like, it's like, oh yes, read books kids wow yes read books we're the skull kids haha <laughs> all right better stop playing with that anyways uh some postcards people have already stopped watching the video that's fine but you're gonna miss out on the postcards albuquerque you know I, I i don't know i just had a different thought of uh albuquerque new mexico i don't know that i've ever have i been to new mexico i've been around to many different um states in the u.s but I don't know that I've ever been to, to New Mexico. Maybe one day, huh? One day, what is this? Sandia Mountain in Rio Grande River, Albuquerque, New Mexico. The Rio Grande. Her name is Rio and she dances on the sand. Who's that? Who sings that? Who sings that? For one billion points, who sings that? I'm gonna go Duran Duran. Duran Duran, I'm thinking Duran Duran sings that. Well. I mean, they sing the real version. I sang that version. Uh, Shiprock, New Mexico. This is Shiprock, New Mexico. Man, that's kind of cool looking, huh? We don't got uh, we don't got a lot of rocks like that over here in the Florida, to be honest with you. It's very flat. This is a uh, this is very cool to me. Whenever I go to like I have like relatives in uh, Kentucky, and they got like the coolest like rocks and stuff over there. And they got those geodes. Man, I pick up all kinds of those things. And every time like family goes on vacation over there, I'm like, hey, pick me up some rocks. I love those things. Oh, it's a jackalope. Jeez, I know what those are. I remember uh, America's Funniest Videos. I think it was America's Funniest Videos with the jackalope. Yeah, there he is. That's a jackalope. Real animal, everybody. Jackalope. Fantastic. What do you think, Debbie? You ever seen a jackalope? Wild jackalope. Often called the antilabbit. Antilabbit? This is the most amazing of all desert animals. It is reputed to be a cross between a jackrabbit and an antelope. Rumor has it that the jackalope sings at night in a voice that sounds almost human. Yeah, I think he actually will sing Duran Duran songs too. Uh, I do believe I've heard that. And um, confirm or deny that is the case. Um, Debbie, what do you think? What is that making noise over there? Oh, it's just paper. All right, stop that paper. And let's see. Albuquerque. So here's, uh, must be like a, the city part where it's all beautiful looking. I mean, look at that. Look at the Wells Fargo building. Whoa, is it really that green? Jeez. Looks like, uh, looks like it had some, I don't know, some kryptonite all over it or something. 
Albuquerque, New Mexico. More than 300 years of history and a unique blend of southwestern spirit make Albuquerque one of the most colorful cities in the United States. Well, it sure, certainly is colorful as far as this picture is concerned. At least that building right there and maybe a little bit of this right over here at the blue. But, man, Wells Fargo is green. Wow. Now, did I read? Yeah. I, sh I should read the other ones too, shouldn't I? I shouldn't be just on my own time. Let's do it together. Uh, I'm not going to be able to say that thing. Navajo say bitaya. Rock with wings. Okay, so I can say rock with wings. Or winged rock is a... Man, monad knock. <laughs> That's a fun to say word. Monad knock. Uh, rising nearly 1,583 feet above the high desert plain on the Navajo Nation and San Juan City, New Mexico. Fantastic. That's really cool looking. Let's go back to this one too. Yeah, I should read them. I should read them. I, I know. So this is the Sandia Mountain, or Sandia Mountain. The Sandia Mountains are a fault block range on the eastern edge of the Rio Grande Rift Valley. The Sandias were uplifted in the last 10 million years as part of the formation of the Rio Grande Rift. How do they know? How do they know it was uplifted in the last 10 million years? How can they prove that? Anyways, beautiful. B E A. Beautiful. Fantastic. Her name is Rio and she dances on the sand. Man, I love this. I love this. You, you all are awesome. Um, this is definitely friend mail. Uh, no hate mail here. This is, this is wonderful stuff. Um, gold finger bag person with the half ounce um, silver. You got to tell me who you are. It's gonna drive me up the wall that you don't they don't identify yourself because I wanna I wanna return the favor I wanna you know what I mean I gotta help you out too so you gotta let me know who you are um, of course I'm gonna probably get like you know 100 emails after after this going like oh yeah that was me yep I sent that <laughs> and the checks man how cool I'm gonna go show the wife right now and tell her I'm gonna be like hey look look at all this money they sent me we're rich now I got you know 40 something bucks and she's gonna be like oh my goodness let's spend it. We need a new crock pot. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go fuller with that right now. But this was a very long mail call, but it's so cool. Um, you guys are awesome. Katana held up. Thank goodness for that, Katana. You're, you're going to live to uh, do another video with me. Um, it's getting a little wobbly over here at the hilt. I might have to take it into a Katana maker and see if they can't repair that. Um, it's, it's just tough because i got to fly to Japan and get it all done over there. And uh, that art is starting to get a little lost, um, you know, and in uh, the history of everything. So it's it's tough to find those good uh, Japanese katana makers anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and book that flight. Um, thank you all so much. This was absolutely crazy, awesome. You know, tell me who you are, man or woman of mystery. Please tell me who you are. That's cool. And uh, man, if you have pours like that, I would love to buy some more pours because that's awesome. That's cool. Thank you all so much. Debbie, you know you're uh, you're one of my coolest moderators out there, right? You're definitely one of the coolest. Look at you with your skulls. Yes. Anyways, um, I got to go. I'm going to sing some more Duran Duran. I'm going to book that flight to Japan so I can get this katana fixed. And uh, I got to go for now. It's been a pleasure. And keep watching. Uh, please keep watching. If you don't keep watching, then, then you won't know what happens to the skull. And you won't know if I continue to sing Duran Duran again. <sighs> oh, no. Spectacular is out. You know, while I'm thinking of it, I want to show these off real quick. Um, not really friend mail, but a friend gave these to me. Um, she uh, took a trip to Europe and got some of the European currency over there. And I'm like, man, it's, you know, I said, somebody sent me some mail with some really cool stuff from Europe. And I said, I wouldn't mind, you know what I mean? Like, you know, getting my hands on some more of that stuff. She's like, oh, I'll bring some in to you. She brought some in. So I just wanted to quickly a little, you know, do a little glance over some of that stuff. So really, really neat. This is a really unique one to me. I mean, it has like that different, you know, almost like a, well, I guess it is an octagon kind of shape. Um, it's like a circle meets an octagon though, because it's not like full on, like, you know, straight lines. So really cool. It says a 20 pence. So I'm rich now. Uh, five euro cent. And I, I don't know too much about these. So like, I'm not going to be able to discuss the, to, you know, with you what's going on with these things, but two pence. Um, a euro cent. That's cool. Is it with the same backing? Oh, yeah. One's just a little bit cooler. F U N F. Is that what this says? Funf. So there's a funf. And 
What's this one? 10 pence. So I'm rich now. I've got all these pences. Um, uh, no Mike Pence in here, but I got a lot of pences. Very, very cool gift. Um, man, people are awesome. People are awesome. And it's all people from the community. You know, it's, it's, this is fantastic. And I'm definitely appreciative. And now, after saying that stuff, I gotta go again. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs>